Morning. Um, this is Harry Potter. So my latest pattern, okay? So just to explain him, he's got um, black boots, black trousers, and then when I got to the waist, I changed to grey, up to the neck, and then the flesh for the face and the head, okay? Um, the boots, I always put some card in, which helps him stand, makes him a nice stand, and he's quite well stuffed. He's not a floppy doll. Um, then I knit a rib with a couple of rows of um, the stripes um, and when I cast off I stitched on with the red that I cast on and I put that round his waist okay um, the 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 V the shirt is knit separately and then put in um, and then he has a tie and he has a, a little collar just a little collar um, and now when I put the tie on um, I, I stitch it on but then I sort of pinch it you know so the tie actually stands sort of out from him gives him a more 3D look um, the um, this, the arms are knit actually um, with the flesh and then some grey and then the black but this part I knit separately it's if you can see it it's um, he sort of hangs down, I don't know whether you can see that or not. So I draped it over, I stitched over the top and then I stitched behind so to give him a, a sort of a draped look. Um, and that was over the long jacket. The long jacket is just knit and put round him. And when I stitch the long jacket on, I stitch round at the neck. But then I don't stitch, you know, you can put your hand up, it. you can see that. But I do stitch the jacket um were the at each point at each side where the arms would be stitched to and that just means that when you stitch the arms on that it all doesn't come afloat okay um so that's that the scarf i need a big long scarf and a you know and then you could see the edges you could see where the i i joined the the wool each time because of course he's got a striped scarf Okay, so what I did was I actually folded it in then and then I stitched up the back. So the scarf is actually double. Um, I did, when I put them on, it was slipping off. So a couple of stitches there, a couple of stitches there and there just to hold it in place. Um, and the fringes, of course, are the, the two different colours. So um, the hat I made is just a... A witch's hat, not too big a witch's hat, and it's sitting quite far back on the head. It's you know because you want to be able to see his scar. But before I put the hat on, I did the face. All right, so I prepared my glasses. So these are just glasses. You can see that I bought um, off eBay or somewhere like that. Bought of eBay pair of glasses. Um, I did put on the pattern how to make your own glasses, which you know were easy enough to make. But these are a packet I bought. I think it was a packet of ten. Okay, and what I did, I prepared the glasses. Is I wrapped them in black wool, so that we ended up with the black glasses. I put the the glasses on the face first before I put the ears or anything on I put the glasses on the face and then I used um, some wooden pins to mark where the eyes are um, where his nose would be right so that's the important feature so I put some wooden pins in then I took the glasses off I came from the top of the head and down and I stitched his eyes and his nose and his mouth, okay, and his little scar. Um, I also give Harry a set of eyebrows and put his ears on either side, okay. So this was all before I put the hat on. All right, so I had his face more or less done. And once once I had the eyes embroidered, I, I'd take the glasses off to embroider the eyes, but then I put the glasses back on again and I just put a little stitch. You can't see it to hold the glasses in place at the sides and at the bridge of the nose, okay? Um, and you can't see it because you're using the same black yarn as the, you covered the glasses with, okay? Um, once I had his face, I was happy with it. I um, 
and the scar I suppose we as zigzag but and actually maybe if I used finer wool it would be better but then I put the hat on and the hat as I say sits sort of far back so that you can see the, the features on the face. Once the hat was on then I just used some brown wool to um, go round and you know stitch in some loops just to give them not too much I did it the whole way around the back as well you know just to give them the effect of some hair and I give them a haircut okay um so you don't want it to be um you know thick or anything so actually there wasn't that much really just some strands and then I, I trimmed it to the way I wanted um it's broomstick is just a straw and um, at the end, at the end, I I used a diff I used a, covered the brown straw with some brown netting. I covered the straw with some brown netting. I used four straws inside each other so the straws don't bend. They're quite um, rigid. So you split the straws and put them in. And then I put on the broomstick and I picked I picked this sort of um, straw like color, you know. And once I had stitched in, and I trimmed it to the right length. Um, I did put a wrapping of yarn around, you know, about a half an inch um, to tidy anything up so that you can't see anything. So I actually love him. I think he's beautiful. He is in order for somebody. Um, I have I really don't want to part with him, but to be going into somebody's Christmas stocking. Um, the pattern is on my website, is on my Etsy and my Ravelry Um patterns so um, but on my website ecdesigns.co.uk um, have a good Christmas everybody and um, hopefully I'll think of something else in it over Christmas bye